Hello, this is Game Audio Toolkit, where we look at ideas, approaches and implementations specific to game audio. And this time, we're going to look at Surround and Reaper. Let's start with making sure Windows 10 is set up for Surround. I only use four speakers for this demonstration, but it's important to remember that for Surround to work as expected, Windows will assign channels 1 and 2 to the front speakers, 3 and 4 to center and subwoofer, and 5 and 6 to the surrounds. On my RME Total Mix panel, I've replicated this setup. We begin by telling Reaper that we want to use 6 channels. Use Ctrl-Alt-M to bring up the master track, or find it in the view menu. Click the route icon. We change track channels to 6. By default, Reaper outputs stereo to the first hardware output. You can change the names of outputs. To repeat, the first six hardware outputs correspond to the six channels that Windows uses for surround. Click the route icon. We add two new hardware outputs for our additional channels, center and sub to three and four, and surrounds to 5 and 6. Anything that is sent to these channels will be routed into the correct output. Reaper 6 simplified the layout of tracks, which hides the route button by default. Changing track layout to B brings it back. Change the track to support 6 channels, like we did on the master track. Now we need a mixer plugin that can take audio on the track and mix it to six channels. Reaper comes with a surround mixer called RIA Surround. Default, it takes two channels and places them in the range of two speakers. Change the input channels to one and choose 5.1 Surround for your speaker setup. By moving the input channel into the influence sphere of each speaker, the audio is panned throughout the surround field. And that's it. To set up a quad ambience, we're going to duplicate this first track. One for each of the four corners of our quad ambience. Open a plugin, move the input channel to the corresponding corner, and do this for each channel. Left front, right front, left surround, right surround. And that's it! We will go a little more in depth in part two of this series.